Hello my friends and welcome to the video. So today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through a little tour of my ice bath here. I've been getting a lot of questions lately asking what freezer I use as well as what did I use to set it up? How much did it cost? And why do I use the ice bath? So let's get right into it. So this is your typical food storage freezer that I converted into a cold plunge slash ice bath. Now this is a hot point model as you guys can see here and it is 9.4 cubic feet it is 33 inches in height 41 inches in width and 27 inches in depth and so yeah i basically converted it inside here there are little seams that need to be sealed you can see on the bottom perimeter all the way around here and even up here so that needs to be sealed so that way no water will leak through and get into the machine itself. And the sealant that I use is an ultra clear waterproof sealant by a company called DAP. I did get this from Home Depot. Also, I will leave the cost of everything at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, as you can see, I use the sealant on all the seams all around the inside so that way it does not leak. You also want to be sure to seal the area around the drain plug. So a lot of models don't have a rubber gasket for the drain plug. So this one does. So um, I didn't have to seal that. But if it does not have a gasket, you're going to want to seal that so that way it doesn't leak. So here we have my Ink Bird temperature controller. And what this does is regulate the temperature. As you can see here, there's a wire that goes in through here. And there is a little temperature probe that stays inside the water. And right here is where I have the temperature set. So I have it set at 46 degrees. And right now, obviously, it's at 76.9 because there's no water in there. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, the sealant and everything and all that. Um, so I have the temperature set at 46 degrees. And this machine will kick on once the temperature reaches 48 degrees. So if it's getting too warm, it'll kick on and then it'll go down to maybe 44. So it has a variance of two degrees either way. And so the temperature control right here, it says cooling. And obviously this is what we're using it for, cooling. So I plug the ice bath into the cooling. And as long as it's plugged into here, this will regulate it and it'll keep the temperature right around 46 degrees. So really, really cool. And also one thing very important, before you go in the ice bath, always unplug the plug from the ice bath to the controller. So that way there's no electricity going to here and you don't risk injury. So when you're filling up your ice bath for the very first time, you wanna make sure that you don't add too much water. Now you gotta remember when there's water in there and then you put your body in there, the water level is going to rise. So you just gotta kinda play with it and see where you end up. You know, everybody is different depending on the size of their ice bath and the size of their body. For me, I personally like to have the water level up to about my neck. So that way my whole entire body is submerged and I can basically sit all the way down in there and the water is not overflowing. It still leaves about maybe about an inch, half inch from the top and um, there's been no issues at all. When you plug in your ice bath for the first time, it's gonna take a while for it to get to the temperature you have it set at. I currently have mine set at 46 degrees. Usually where people have it set at is anywhere from like 50 to 52. They say that's still optimal to reap the benefits. But what I like to do to speed up the process to get it cooling faster is to just go to the freezer, grab whatever ice I have left in there, dump it in, close the lid and let it do its work. Now, one thing you guys must remember, I do have an electronic controller, which I highly recommend the investment. Um, if you just simply plug the ice bath into the wall and let it run all night and you don't check it, that thing is gonna turn into a giant ice block and it's gonna be a pain in the butt to chip out that ice and get the ice out of there. So highly recommend the investment of the electronic controller. It regulates the temperature and you know, it makes things so much easier. All right, and so before you go in, I always recommend you take a shower so that way you can kind of clean off any oils or any lotions you have in your body. It'll keep this water clean a lot longer. Um, I usually change this water about every two weeks and I go in probably like six times a week. So, all right, here we go. 
And one very, very important thing is to focus on your breathing. You need to control your breathing because if you don't, then you're gonna start panic breathing and you're not gonna make it. So controlling your breath is very, very important when you're in here. See, I can put a little bit more water in here. So I'll probably put about a little bit more so that way it goes up to my neck. So I usually stay in here for about 10 minutes. Now, if it's your first time, I highly recommend just maybe doing like 30 seconds at a time, getting out and then waiting about a minute and then going in for like 30 seconds and then get out, maybe wait a minute and then try to go 45 seconds and then just try to work your way up to maybe like two to three minutes. And then as you go, the more you get better at dealing with the cold, the longer you can go. So it's definitely taken me a little while, but I usually do 10 minutes a day. So what are some benefits to cold therapy? So it does boost the immune system. It increases white blood cell count. Cold therapy is great for fat loss. It does crank up the metabolism. So when your body is freezing cold like this, it's going to work very hard to warm it up. So it does expend a lot of calories. And my favorite is coming here after I train. You know, when you're training, it does crank up your cortisol and it really taxes the adrenals. When I come in here, seriously, it like resets my central nervous system and I'm fresh and ready to go. All right, so now let's talk about the cost. So what was the total cost for the ice bath, including the materials and the controller and all that? So I did get this ice bath on sale. It was at an appliance store. It was an open box item. It was $269 out the door. Um, I looked it up online. This ice bath does go for like $377 brand new but I got it for $269. And the ultra clear waterproof sealant by DAP, which I got from Home Depot, was $10.48. Also the caulking gun was $4.28. And then the Inkbird digital controller, I did get from Amazon for $35. So the total cost for this ice bath was $318.76. So that is pretty cheap and it's been seriously, a game changer for my recovery. I have a hot tub back there, so I'll usually do hot therapy, then cold therapy, and it's been really amazing. Well, alrighty guys, that is my cold plunge ice bath, and it was a do-it-yourself project, as you guys saw. Um, showed you guys all the materials I used, and if you guys want, I will leave all the links in the description box down below, if you guys are interested in building your own. And seriously, it only cost me a little over $300. So that is less than $400 for an ice bath. And there are cold plunges, ice baths online for like 3,000, 5,000, even $10,000 for what you guys just saw me build and put together. Like it's a very simple process. Um, I seriously don't know who's gonna spend $10,000 on one of those. I'm, well, I mean, if you have the money, by all means, go ahead. But if you only want to spend a couple hundred bucks, that is the way to do it. And um, very simple, easy process. As you guys saw, I just sealed the perimeter, um, got a controller, regulated the temperature, and just basically keep the water clean. You know, change it every two weeks, depending on how much you go in there. And also you can get like a little screen to screen out any types of debris that get in there as well. And yeah, the maintenance is very easy, very simple, and very affordable so yeah that was my ice bath if you guys do have any questions at all you can leave them down below i love going in there every morning to start my day it just really wakes me up i get out of there i feel amazing and it is just awesome definitely well worth the investment and again if you guys have any questions about the ice bath just let me know and if you guys are going to build your own have fun with it and remember to unplug it before you go in very important. You don't want to go in there with electricity flowing through it. So unplug it to be safe. And uh, I think that's going to be it. So hope you guys did enjoy. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.